being able to rely on the awesome changes we have here at the ballpark. Hope everyone's able to get some food, some goodies, and see the, you know, the tours and all that kind of stuff. So we are uh, incredibly blessed to kind of debut this year with our new partnership with not only Knoxville CBA employees credit but also with Boyd Sports LLC. So this all came together back in January. And if it wasn't for all those parties involved, we wouldn't be able to make the financial commitment we get here in this ballpark and this facility. So lots and lots of great things going on this year. Brand new locker rooms and that kind of stuff. New deck over there. Uh, but we're uh, incredibly excited to have you guys all here today. And I'm going to bring up Jeremy Bowler here to touch base a little bit more on some of the renovations we have going on here. <clears throat> all right. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to TBA Credit Union Ballpark. We have a lot of exciting new things happening here at the ballpark. And again, my name is Jeremy Bowler. I'm the Vice President of Boyd Sports, which is the Johnson City Cardinals now and the Tennessee Smokies. So on behalf of Boyd Sports, we are beyond excited to be up here in Johnson City. I basically live here now. So I'm here every single week now helping these guys up and getting everything ready to go for opening day. And we've got a lot of things happening right now. It's basically an active construction site, as you can see. If you've been following the past few weeks and few months, I know you've seen the construction going on the deck here. And hopefully all of you have been in the locker rooms and taken a tour and seen the renovations. The locker rooms have come a very long way. So on behalf of Boyd Sports, we are thrilled to be a part of being able to do all this to the ballpark here. And we could not do any of this stuff without employees CBA credit union. So we cannot thank you all enough for uh, being a part of this because we're there. they were a key clog in this whole process. Uh, financial commitment plus being able to do everything we can do here. We could not do it without them. So we cannot thank you guys enough for being a part of this. So basically on behalf of Boyd Sports, I want to talk real fast about the improvements. So a lot of things behind the scenes, a lot of cosmetic things you may not be able to notice right now. You'll see a lot more opportunities and things on opening day. So I hope everybody here got their voucher or got their mini plans, got their season tickets. You're going to be here opening day. We're going to pray for sunny weather just like this. <laughs> And baseball, so we always hope for it. But as you can see here, obviously with the new party deck out here, we have a great partnership with Hopi Smoky Barbecue. So that'll be catered for group outings. And I'm sure a lot of you may already know, especially I've talked to a couple folks here today who have hooked your private groups with your church or with your business who come out here and use it for uh, your outings. So it's a private group area for 20 people or more. I'm sure you heard this on the tour, but it's gonna be uh, a very exciting addition to the ballpark. And it is made for expansion, so which is right now it holds 200 people, which is very big. But we have an opportunity to expand it in the future if we need to, either direction. So a couple other things we've already done this year is the locker room. That was something the St. Louis Cardinals were very big on, and we're very big on that too. We're basically, with Boyd Sports, we are following the same process when Randy Boyd took over the Tennessee Smokies three years ago. We're following in the exact same footsteps. We already kind of have a blueprint and a process to this. Number one is do some cosmetic work with the ballpark, aka your locker rooms, to make your affiliate happy, which now we operate a Cubs Cardinals affiliate, which that always creates a good conversation piece around the meetings. So we're excited to have that. It's a, when we go to the winter meetings, it's fun to go meet those guys and talk about that. Uh, but basically improve the locker rooms, give the teams exactly what they want, what they need to be successful on the field and off the field. So hopefully you got a chance to see all that with the TVs, all the new furniture, make them feel like they're in the big leagues. We want to have that right away when they come to rookie ball like during the big leagues in St. Louis. So then obviously with group outings and new amenities the ballpark. That's big for us. Obviously we want to draw more folks to the ballpark and this is a group outing. We're a great way to do that and having another private area is going to be a great opportunity to do that as well. When you come back on opening day, you're going to see more portables out here in the ballpark for more food options. Today we kind of had just your basic ballpark fare. We got some new, uh, new barbecue, a new hot dog, new other items we wanted you to try today. So thank you all for being a part of that taste testing as well. Hope you all enjoyed it. When you come back, you'll see more opportunities with different food and beverage out here as well. And we kind of have some other things you, you'll notice next week when you come back. We have some more netting. We're going to be taking down more chain link fencing, putting up more netting through here. Basically, we've, we've been repainting a lot of things as well, so you'll see a lot of new paint jobs from the ballpark and basic cleaning of certain things. And we'll have more netting, and you'll probably notice immediately on the sidelines where the bullpens used to be is now a short chain link fence where it used to be, uh, I think, a six-footer. So that's a big difference, especially when it comes to the group outings. If you're down in the pavilion as well, that's another group area. So now you can really utilize that and not have to keep coming back up here to sit in the seats, but now you can really utilize the pavilion as well with that new chain link fence. 
So everything we're doing right now is in phases. So right now what you're seeing is a lot of things behind the scenes we haven't really talked about that we've done or doing, but we have it in phases. So phase two, we are looking at building another party group area over here where the old bullpen used to be, where if you walk through the tours, right now this is our ground screw area, but that is on phase two. We plan to do something there next year. Plus, I'm sure you've heard a lot about an artificial turf field. Which, where there was not enough time between Science Hill's schedule and our schedule, plus the weather we got between to do that in a, in a timely manner. So we still have our current field this year, but we will have a turf infield put in in the fall. Hopefully we're shooting for October, November right now, a turf infield put in. So the Cardinals are very happy about that. I know Tyler's happy about that. We're happy, so that's going to be an exciting addition. The Cardinals are very happy because they don't have to worry about rainouts anymore because that'll be a, well, I say that, but it'll really help out with those chances. So we'll tarp anymore. That makes it great. So that, and we're also working on new lights. That will be a next year or a year three project with new lights. We've got a lot of things we're doing in year two and year three. So we do have a three-year plan right now, hopefully more. We have a 10-year commitment with the city of Johnson City and the Cardinals as well, with that being said. So we are here for the long haul. And so we are ready to rock and roll here in Johnson City, continue to make improvements and make the fan experience and player experience everything we can possibly do. So on behalf of Boyd Sports, and I know Tyler as well. We really appreciate everybody coming out today. So right now I'm turning over to Tammy here with the TBA Credit Union on behalf of the TBA Credit Union Ballpark. Thank you so much. We just want to say how excited we are to be a part of this, to work with the Cardinals, and to get, get to know Tyler and Jeremy and Adam. Adam is not here, but it has been a great experience, and we really enjoyed it. Um, we think that this partnership will be a wonderful way for everybody to get involved. We love getting involved with the community, for families to come out and have an affordable day to make memories and spend some time uh, together in different things. We also have plans with using the bar park for several different events throughout the year, one being to honor our men and women of service, to thank them for um, their service, and just to pour back into the community. So we just want to thank you for this opportunity. You'll be seeing our logo. Um, it is TBA Credit Union Ballpark, so you'll be seeing our, our logo everywhere, and we just are excited and can't wait to get started. Just to kind of close out here, so the players will be up here about 1 p.m. to sign autographs. They'll be right out here in the main concourse underneath the tents. We'll have two ways. We'll have additional players first and the pitchers. Love you guys had a chance to meet this year's team. We have a very, very talented squad, and uh, they literally just got here last night. Drove a bus all the way up from Palm Beach, Florida, and arrived here last night. And we'll start practice here. We'll have open practice at 2 p.m. If you do want to stick around and watch the guys practice as well, so um, thank you once again for coming out today. Uh, any questions for us? Feel free to grab us around here, but we appreciate you coming out to TBA Credit Union Ballpark.